Hey everybody and welcome to Down Home Cooking with Tanya. Tonight we are doing a season two episode. What are we actually cooking tonight? I call it a chicken, I don't know, skillet dinner. Um, so this right here, I chunked up chicken breast and marinade overnight in Italian dressing. I cut up some bell pepper and onion. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to let this cook a little bit first. I've already cooked, you can show the bowl of pasta. I cooked pasta and what I did to make it a little interesting is I actually broke up lasagna noodles and used up a um, partial box of lasagna noodles. I wanted to make it a little interesting, not just the boring pasta. So I'm actually going to let this chicken cook just a little bit first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, I don't know if you can see that, it's a can of crushed tomatoes. This one actually has basil in it. I usually just do plain. I'm going to do some garlic salt, some more Italian herbs. I'm going to do some pepper. Um, I'll taste it. I might put a little bit of sugar in the sauce. I'm not quite sure. Well, um, when I test it, I'll, I'll find out. So once this is all stewed down, it's actually going to mix the pasta in, and then I'm going to actually put some cheese in it as well. And how long would you say this takes to cook up? Um, this is probably going to be a good 45 minute meal, probably by the time I get done everything, um, to let it simmer just a little bit. And on a healthy scale, 1 to 10? Actually pretty healthy. I mean, I have light, this is um, light Italian dressing. You can do fat free, it doesn't really make a difference, I don't think. Um, and it's going to actually help flavor the sauce as well. Um, but obviously with veggies, I mean, obviously you can do the wheat, wheat, um, wheat free pasta like I should be doing. Um, or you can do whole wheat pasta. That will make it even more nutritious. I just happen to be using some um, lasagna noodles at a partial box. So I just decided to use that up. So I'm actually going to let this simmer just for a few minutes. And I'm actually going to put the sauce in because I want it to get in through the chicken and the vegetables. And how long would you let it simmer? I'm probably going to let this simmer... Um, Probably a good 20 minutes or so um, to make sure, 20, 30 minutes just to get make sure it's all cooked in. And I, nice, I like the meat nice and tender. And you can see I have the broth in there. I don't know if you can see the broth from the actual Italian dressing. So that's going to help flavor your tomatoes. So it's cooked a little bit. I'm actually going to put this in. Look at all that goodness, guys, going into that. I'm going to do a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of black pepper, guys. And uh, you guys, she does have a YouTube channel going now with uh, the videos that she's already done. Um, we're on Season 2 now, so it will be sporadic uh, starting out here for Season 2, but we'll be coming on uh, Sundays when we have time to do episodes for you guys. I just did Italian seasoning. I don't have fresh. In the, uh, this is fine. You can use this. I have a little garlic salt. I'm going to put a little bit of that in here. Now you guys know garlic salt's good, huh? Now would the Italian dressing have a little bit of garlic in it? Yes, it does. And it is going to flavor the sauce. So what I do, once it starts simmering near the end, I'll check and see if I need to put any sugar to make it just a little sweeter. I just don't want it too tart. And I personally like a little bit of sugar in my sauces, my tomato sauce. Now you can see, guys can see how it's mixing in really well. And obviously that Italian seasoning again, the Italian dressing is going to season the sauce as well. I think it's going to turn out really good. Um, this is something I have never made before. I'm trying something new. So what I'm going to do, I have it about medium, medium heat. I'm going to simmer it for about 20 minutes or so and come back to it. I'm going to put a cover over it. And then we'll check in about 20 minutes and see how it's doing. I'll taste the sauce. And if it's ready, we'll add the pasta and then we'll add some cheese to it as well. Do you think they could make this for like Super Bowl Sunday? Yeah, absolutely. You, you can do so many things with this. I'm doing it only with peppers and onions because my husband won't eat anything else. Um, obviously, you can throw some beans in here and kind of make it almost like a chili if you wanted to. Um, you know, you can just do it with just about any vegetable. Like, I would love to have summer squash and zucchinis in here. He won't eat that. Um, that's good in here as well. Um, you can certainly marinate pork in the Italian dressing and do it this way. It, it's, you, know, you can just do about anything in here if you really want to. I'm doing chicken because it's a little healthier. Again, I'm going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes or so and come back to it and take a look at it and make sure that it's doing well. And then I'll show you if it's, if it's good at 20 minutes, we'll come back and we'll do the pasta, add the pasta and the cheese into it. Could you tell them again exactly what you put in there? So I did chicken breast that was marinated overnight in Italian dressing. I did light Italian dressing. I did a can, and this one happened to have basil in it. So it's crushed tomatoes with basil. I did some extra uh, Italian seasonings in it. And I did a little bit of garlic salt. And actually, you know what? Because we have onions in there. I'm going to do... Um, 
I actually have some dried red onion. I'm going to put a little bit of that for extra flavor as well. We're actually in our new kitchen, in our new place. So as you can see, um, we're using actually propane to cook, right honey? Um, we did natural gas before, yep, now we're doing propane. Now, do you think it takes it takes a little different when you cook with propane compared no. to gas? It's the same as gas? gas, yeah. I actually prefer a gas stove over electric stove any day. As you guys can see, it's starting to simmer up a little bit. And obviously, if you have fresh ingredients, absolutely put it in. If you have fresh parsley, oregano, any of your Italian spices that you want to put in. Um, fresh garlic, we happen to not have any fresh garlic, so I use garlic salt. And I do put a little bit of salt in here. I did some black pepper to taste. So I'm going to go ahead and there's um, there's actually the small, little small peppers in here, about three of them. And they happen to be a, a yellow, an orange, and a red. And then I did, it was a sweet Vidalia onion, so they're really big. I did about um, almost half of one of those in here this summer. And again, you can put any veggies you want in here. I would love to have zucchinis and summer squash in here. My husband doesn't eat that. Or mushrooms would be really good in here, too. Um, if you want to really make it a meal and don't want pasta, put beans in here. And, and it would work great, too, as well. So what I'm going to do is we'll come back. I'm going to let this simmer with the cover on for about 20 minutes. And we'll come back and see how it's doing. Okay, guys. We'll be back um, in about 20 minutes when this is all set up and getting ready to go for the finishing touches. And we'll be back, guys. Everybody, we're back and we're here for the second part of down home cooking. It's been almost 20 minutes. I have actually, while well, you were gone, I put six ounces of tomato paste in to make it a little thicker. I did put a tablespoon of sugar in just to make it a little sweeter sauce that I like. And now we are going to combine the pasta in there. This is again, it's my lasagna noodles I just broke up before I cooked them. Make it a little different. You can really use whatever pasta you like. Like I said, and you can adjust this recipe to put other vegetables in there. Like I would love to put zucchinis and summer squash and um, mushrooms in there. Okay. It's almost kind of like a goulash with chicken. Almost. So this would be a good thing for cooking for Super Bowl Sunday. Next sure, weekend. why not? It's nice and hearty. And what would you? what's in this, would you say? So it's... Um, I did a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes with basil. You can just use regular crushed tomatoes or you can do Italian seasons in it. I added dried Italian seasonings to it. I added some garlic salt, some uh, pepper, some Italian herbs, some red uh, dried red onion. I have chicken marinated and Italian dressing first and I did some chopped up onions and peppers. I think that's all I put in there. Now I just put I happen to just break up lasagna noodles and cook lasagna noodles instead of just regular pasta to make it a little bit different. And now we're mixing it all together. I'm actually going to put, I have just little bits of Mexican blend four cheese, shredded cheese. I just have little bits left, so I'm going to go ahead and dump that on top. So you can put just about any cheese in here? You can do it however you want. No cheese, cheese. Um, I'm using up some of my scrap cheese that I have here. So who's coming for dinner? Huh? Who's coming over for dinner? And I'm going to put a little bit of the grated parm cheese as well because I don't have any of the fresh. Hi, Deb. I'm going to mix that in. There goes my timer for my 20 minutes. Now, we're, we're actually in our new kitchen in our new place. Uh, we're just getting things rolling here, so there'll be some more cooking episodes um, here and there. Um, we're, get, we're getting organized, slowly but surely. I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit more on the top. And more or less, that's done. Obviously, um, I did a one-pot wonder. Um, I used this to cook the pasta and to do the, the dish itself. Um, obviously, it's going to be plenty of leftovers for us because my son won't eat this, unfortunately. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. I call it the chicken skillet. I'm just going to mix some of that cheese in there. So again, we have chicken breast that was marinated in Italian dressing overnight. Then we have fresh chopped onion, um, bell peppers. We have garlic salt. We have Italian herbs. We have um, dried red onion, pepper. Was there anything? And I put a little bit of sugar and some tomato paste in here. And this is what the dish is going to look like. This takes how long to cook? 
Um, fried from start to finish, anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes because you cook the pasta. I cook the pasta first. You can certainly do it at the same time. I just happen to do one pot so I don't have to dirty so many dishes. Um, so it took me probably about 45 minutes or so to make the meal. So that's not bad. Now this is a good meal for a winter night. Yes. It's very hearty. Again, you can put um, any kind of vegetable you want. Summer squash, zucchinis, mushrooms. You can even do cabbage in here. We're kind of make it a goulash. And I have the chicken in there instead of beef um, to make it a little healthier. Now you guys can go to YouTube. She does have a YouTube channel with Down Home Cooking so you can see some of her episodes on there. Um, we're actually coming out with a new entrance to the show very shortly um, that we've been working on, um, that I've been working on. She don't know it, it's kind of surprising her. Um, also, I mean, this would be great with garlic bread, obviously. Um, it would even be good with French bread, even I would even like it with cornbread, homemade cornbread. Um, I almost made that today, just have not had time. I had to work this morning, so it did not happen. So this is what it looks like, and I can't wait to dig in. And uh, everybody, again, she does have a YouTube channel. If you're interested in checking her out, check her out on YouTube, uh, Down Home Cooking with Tanya. And also, if you don't, those of you who don't know already, I'm actually doing a cookbook. It's not done yet. I'm compiling recipes because I am one who does not like to measure. Um, so obviously, if you want my recipes, I'm going to have to start measuring. I learned to cook because um, my grandmother um, lived on a farm. And so you more or less just dumped in until it tastes good. So that's kind of what, how I cook. So that's what it looks like for tonight. That's our dinner. Um, it'd be great bread and butter, garlic bread, whatever you like. We also like to thank everybody that uh, watched us last year uh, for filming of Down Home Cooking with Tanya. You guys, all 5,000 of you guys, um, tuned in for her cooking show. So that's kind of makes her smile. Yeah. yeah. So um, the other thing is we got some other things in the works for her. Um, you're going to be seeing her, a lot more of her um, shortly, hopefully. And uh, you'll be seeing her cookbook when she gets it all squared away. And um, you'll be seeing more episodes of uh, Haunted in New England. But we're going to do a little traveling, I think. Um, maybe. Coming up. Not too, not too much of it, but we're going to be doing a little traveling. Uh, so you guys will be seeing that too. And um, EPPI will also be out uh, doing things too with people. Uh, so you'll be seeing us around. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Hopefully at the end of the week, my husband doesn't know this, but hopefully at the end of the week we can do um, some barbecue. I had gone to Texas not long ago and had some great barbecue, so I'm going to do a um, barbecue ses uh, session as well. So make sure you guys tune in this, uh, this weekend for the barbecue stuff because you guys are going to love that. Uh, so it'll be great for the Super Bowl Sunday. Maybe she'll have some tips for you for uh, Super Bowl munchies. Um, yeah, because you could actually turn, turn what I'm doing from barbecue into nachos and things like that. So yeah, it could be a good Super Bowl dish. All right, guys, have a great evening, and uh, I'll take a picture of this so you guys can see what it looks like in its dish. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night.